Let's see. Playing well with others. Hey beautiful, so today I will be demonstrating the AOA Faux Mink Brush Set. This is what it looks like. Come on, tan brushy. And now I'm going to be demonstrating all these brushes today to see like how they function. Is it worth the 10 bucks? Because it do come with 10 brushes. 10, 10. Five face brushes and five eye brushes. Let's just get right on into this. Um, first, I already have my brows and lashes on. These lashes are these lashes are by the AOA Studio brand. This is the Lu Luella. This is the style Luella, so kind of got my lashes on already. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime my skin. Prime my skin with the Wet n Wow Photo Focus Face Primer, the dewy one. So I'm gonna put some on my face. And blend it out with the brush that is in the set. I'm gonna blend it out with the F23. I do need a mirror. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Just blend it all out. I bet the brush is very, very soft. Um, I like the brushes that I do my foundation with, which is going to be this one. Just a little more stiffer. Just a little bit, but we're going to see how this rolls, how this works. I'm not using any other brushes. Besides these, so I hope this all worked out. To see if y'all can spend ten dollars on a full set of brushes and not have to worry. Let that sit for a moment, and we're gonna start on eyeballs. I'm gonna use my primer by Mac. It's the Painterly Paint Pot, and I'm going to apply this with um, E138. And take some of the product on this brush, and this brush is like angled. And I'm just gonna apply it to my lid. I don't need much, I'm not doing a real dramatic eye, just you know, some light just to test these brushes out. Pretty, pretty good. Okay, so the eyeshadow palette I'm going to use is the Juvia's Place one. And this is the Nubian one. Well, the first Nubian. And I'm just going to go into a couple of these colors. This little orange transition color. And I am using the E135. And I'm going to take this straight into my crease. Hmm. It does hold product very well. Uh, it's a little flimsy, but for beginners or somebody who's trying to learn how to use makeup, I can dig it. It's a little flimsier, but it does blend very, very good. I'm just going to go into this little dark brown, the same brush, just to give a little definition to the outer. V. Uh, I'm trying not to disturb the lash because this is a strip lash. I'm gonna go back into that first transition color a little bit. This brush though come through. Normally this would be the time when I get like two brushes. For this one job, but this one brush is doing an excellent job because it's just fluffy enough to like diffuse it and it's just slim enough to pack it, so that's perfect. And if I did have to do a little more detailing work, the E38 would be perfect. Now I'm just gonna pop a color on my 
I believe I'm gonna use the same brush that I used to put the paint pot on one. And let's see, shimmer, 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 shimmer. I'm just gonna put my favorite shimmer on my eye. This is my favorite shimmer from the palette. Don't know what's up with me in this color, but it's boom. This is a And I think this will be good for cutting the crease as well. So I will try this brush again because it has the right little angle that I can cut my eyelid crease. Here's the foundation. And this is a Sucker Beauty foundation. And I'm just going to pump it to three three pumps and I'm gonna apply it to my face mm. let's see how much coverage I get if you are new I am a fuller medium heavy medium very full coverage type of girl because I like to peek in my face. I always am peeking in my dang old face. And that shouldn't be, but I do. And I'm just gonna do about a couple pumps. Just so we can see what's really going on. And we can pet in some coverage. So I kind of feel like this brush will be good for like afterwards. If I had like um a foundation brush and I was like applying it with the foundation brush, and I was going in with this brush to like blend it out. Mm. The foundation isn't the fullest coverage neither, but I feel like it eats up my foundation. It does, if you can see. You can see like the foundation is like seeped in there, so seeping. It can be a nice medium esque coverage. So next is concealer, and then I'm gonna use this little brush to blend it out. And I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in twelve. I can see y'all from the normal places. Any of y'all know that the Makeup Revolution, this right here, is in foundation form now, but it's like a stick. I am excited to try it out. So, because the brush didn't give me the best coverage, I'm going to conceal places here and there. And see if this brush will make up for the loss. But it did this side really good. And this is my worst area. And it covered this side up good. I don't know if I wasn't padding good enough or what. But it did this side over here really good. So this is the F24. Okay. This is blending really good. Only thing is, you don't have to take the foundation brush and kind of like blend around it. So, I'm like pat the foundation brush into those areas that I need to work coverage. It was just right here, right here. Okay, so the concealer concealed it up. Now, let's take this brush and do my under eye. Not too shabby. Not sure how it looks on camera, but in retrospect, man, from where I'm, where I am, it looks pretty good in my makeup shadow mirror. My under eye. I'm just gonna take this brush, which is the E25, and I'm gonna use this color right here. You just 
tap it on my eye. Just set it. Okay. I see you. Playing well with others. So, on to contouring and stuff like that. I told you guys this brush, which is the E22, is good for wet. So, let's bronze her. And I'm taking my e.l.f. bronzer in Glow. It is an angle brush, by the way. Let's see how it bronzes us. Mm. Pretty good if you like that real sharp line. It does it. Again, these brushes with product. I feel like it just eat up the product a little bit. So I'll be very light handed because I'm heavy handed. But as you can see, see it is bronzing the face. I know I'm about that bronze life, so I'm gonna go into hula as well. And it's perfect for hula. Y'all know the miniature hula is very small. So whoa. Jack. There was a lot of product. Yeah, we about, about done. So next is blush and highlight. And I'm going to do it with the same, this same brush. And the blush. And the blush that I'm using today is this blush. Oh, this blush by NYX. And it is the soft flush. It's pretty. I don't know why I don't wear this blush enough. Cause it does look really, really cute. I mean, or highlights. But cause we just use powder product on here, I'm gonna use it again. And this is the Shop Me Zay AOA Studio um, highlighting cupcake. Let's see how this look. I thought it was more golden, as I told you guys in my haul video. Let's see. Any is a oh, it's pretty, but it's like too icy for me. But it's cute though. He's cute. He really is. I really like cupcake. I might mix cupcake with another highlighter that I think. A little too deep for me but it's, it's pretty I'm colors that are on my top lid on my bottom lid with this small brush right here and just smoke out this bottom okay guys so the verdict is in about the 10 piece brush set for $10 on shop missing like that thing is a good jingle girl you guys this brush set is absolutely positively worth your coins ten dollars is not bad you can also get some beautiful lashes like the ones i have on my face today for one dollar and if you see the video that i previously uploaded yes previously uploaded you can get some bomb lashes for one dollar as well so, um, let me run down my favorites. I did not use this brush. I don't know why, because I didn't powder my whole face. Let's, uh, let's just use this brush. Just because I've used basically everything else. I'm gonna use a, a little more hula. Let's see how soft it is, because big brushes matter. Big brushes, they do matter. So, I'm gonna go, face, get a little more warmth. Okay. So this can help you diffuse product. If it was too heavy for you, if it was too much, yeah. You can diffuse product with this brush. So that means any kind of powders, loose powders, face powders, bronzers, and maybe even a little highlight because it does come to a tip, like a tulip. I applied all my liquids with this today, my dewy bronzer, as well as my foundation. My only thing is I might have to work with this a little more and let it get older. You know how products get 
I mean, you know how brushes are the older they get the better they are it's like they become your favorite because you know more out. i might have to wear this out because it does eat my foundation don't like that but i see potential in this it also reminds me of my old elf powder brush that was for powder but i used it for foundation a really good dupe for that so the next brush that i use i use this one for my concealer it's the F24 and it, it did a very good job. I also can see this brush lending out cream products for me. So yeah, yeah, cream. Eyeshadow, my cream contour, and things of that nature. I use this brush. The if I said E, this is the F22. I think I'm saying E. And it's not an E brush, it's Elf. Everything is Elf. But this brush, the slanted one, like the contour brush, needs to be really good for my bronzes. And this gives concentrated bronze or blush in the area that you want it in. So if you don't want it very saturated and heavy, don't use this brush. But it is good for concentration. But not least is this. I set my other my under eye with it and I also put on my highlight with it. I'm very pleased with this brush. I believe this might be one of my favorites once I break it in. So for the eye, I only used these three brushes. The other two brushes did not get any love today. But if I like them or I don't like them, you guys will know about it in my videos coming up. Um, this one I use for under eye to put on a color under my eye. And uh, this diffuses it very, very well. So I'm thinking that if I apply a heavy color and want it to be concentrated or blended out in my crease, this will work really good for that. Under my eye, didn't give me enough pigmentation that I desired, but maybe because I wasn't running it or giving my brush heavy enough or saturating my brush enough into um, the eyeshadow to place under my eye. So maybe that could be it, but it is a good brush. The next brush is this um, blending brush. I already knew, me, this blending brush was going to get along. Fit it in my soul, and the fact that I can use two colors to do two different things on my eyes. Like, when you turn it this way, it's a little flat. But if you turn it like four, it's a little more fluffy. So you get the best of both worlds with this blending brush, and I love it. Last but not least is the brush that I put on my cream eyeshadow base, my paint pot by MAC. And I also packed on the lid color, as you see today. And it did awesome, excellent, nothing bad to say about it. And overall, I do recommend this brush set. And it's also easy for my girls on the go. Who like to do their makeup in the car or while their boyfriend drive, while their mom and dad drive, or their husband drive. Because you just fold it up. And if you wear a big purse, you just roll it like this and tie in a knot and there you go on a 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 go so if you are interested in these brushes shop miss a is open 24 days a week 365 days a year just for you their shipping is fast um never had a problem with customer service the only thing is is um nothing so if you guys like me and you like my channel thumbs up this video if you want to see all the content that i have to come then subscribe and if you want to know every single time i upload then push that post notification that's right there by the subscribe button and until next time beautifuls bye